Hi, I'm Amir, your VP. I am here with Ashna, your secretary, and Ryan, your treasurer. We are here today with our first Mount Tabor staff member of the month, Mrs. Toomey. We are here to ask her some interview questions. Can you please tell me what a day in the life of Miss Toomey would look like? Okay, so I get up very early in the morning, around 6.30 or so, and I start getting ready for work. Um, I check my emails to make sure and see if all our classes are covered, and my mind starts thinking of who, uh, if they're not, who is going to cover the classes to make sure everyone has a staff member. Um, I then help my son get ready for school, and I drive my son to school. And then I come here to Mount Tabor, and my day here at school begins. Um, I visit classrooms. I greet everyone in the hallway in the morning. I visit classrooms. I check emails, uh, write some reports. I look at data to see how well all of you are doing um, in the classrooms. Um, I sometimes I'm in the lunch caf in the cafeteria. I do a bunch of things all throughout the day. Um, after school, um, there's meetings that I attend. Some are PTA meetings. Some are meetings with other principals because we all get together too and talk about our day and talk about um, things that principals talk about. Um, and then when I go home, my second job starts and that is to be with my family and I have to help my son with his homework. Um, I also check up on my daughter who's in college, make sure she's doing okay. Um, and then if my son has a sporting event, I go to their, his baseball game or his basketball game. Um, and then it starts all over again um, the next day. Thank you, Ms. Toomey. That sounds like a very busy day. The next question is, what are your hobbies? Uh, oh, okay. I love to read. Um, I also love to play the piano, and my all-time favorite is to travel. That sounds like some very fun hobbies. How many years have you been a principal at Mount Tabor? Altogether, I've been a principal 19 years, and this is my 10th year here at Mount Tabor School. That's a lot of years. <coughs> Thank you. If you could be anything else besides a principal, what would you be? That's a tough one because I have always wanted to be a principal. So let's see. I'm thinking I've always loved to work with children. So I would have to say a teacher. Before I was a principal, I was a teacher, but I was also a piano teacher and a dance teacher. So that would be something that I think I would love to do again, is to teach piano and teach dancing. Thank you, Mrs. Toomey. Now for our next question. What is your favorite color? I think almost all of you know this one, purple. That's, just, that's also my favorite color. What is your favorite part about being a principal? My favorite part about being a principal is going to your classrooms and seeing all the wonderful learning that you're doing. I love to um, sit down next to you on the rug or in small groups and just listening to your ideas and um, you know all, all the things that you're all the things that you're learning. That's the best part of the day. I remember you coming to my classroom a couple of years ago. My last question, and my favorite question, what is your favorite food? <laughs> well, my family is from Cuban descent, so I love Cuban food. That's my favorite. Thank you. How many kids do you have? I have uh, two kids. Um, my youngest is Aiden. And Aiden's in sixth grade. He's 11 years old. And I have a girl, Bella. She is in her second year in, um, in college, Quinnipiac. And she is studying to be an occupational therapist. 
Wow, that's really nice. <laughs> what is your favorite, where is your flav- favorite place to travel? My favorite place that I've traveled so far, I would say, would be Italy. Um, it was wonderful. It was a cool place. It was very interesting to see things that I have seen always in textbooks or photographs and get to see them in real life. So that was an exciting trip. I went to Italy. <laughs> it was like very beautiful. What is some advice you would give to students who are feeling upset or nervous? The first thing I would say is that it is okay to feel nervous and upset. Um, And when you do, it's important that you talk about your feelings. So you can talk to someone uh, that you are close to. Uh, That may be a friend or that may be a parent. Um, Or it could be someone right here in school. It could be your principal. It could be your guidance counselor, your teacher. So it'd be really important to let someone know if you're feeling upset um, or nervous and let them help you through it. Wow, we learned so much about Ms. Toomey, our principal. Thank you for your time. Tune in next time for our next interview. Thanks for joining.